Welcome back, Meerkat Nation, to Borderlands. Where I can go to this next exciting episode of Borderlands 1. Alright. Welcome back, and last time we left off, we were on the bridge. Our car got destroyed because those cars out there belong to the Cr Crimson Lance and or General Knox, and they uh, kicked my butt. I got excited this morning because I was looking around on uh, the photo editor GIMP trying to figure out how to use it better and I learned some new things so hopefully I can make better pictures on my thumbnails or anything else that's related to my channel and before we get started here guys uh, make sure to like subscribe and share it's greatly appreciated and I thank every one of you guys in advance that do. Alright, let's go. Let's go meet Moxie. These car dudes, man, they they kick your butt. Oh, and I did learn something. When they announced the uh, Easter egg inside of uh, Gearbox's other game, it's called Battleborn. And it had a DLC or something like that came out, a new map, and it had like a little Easter egg or some kind of secret that was talking about something for Borderlands 3. And they called the planet Promethea, right? If I can remember correctly. Well, I was standing in there, waiting, uh, like, about to jump in a vehicle and then start over there to start my vehicle or the video. And there's a radio in there. <clears throat> and the radio guy, the announcer, said something like... Well, welcome to Pandora. It's pretty bad, but it's better than being on Promethea. Did they just drop a bomb? Where, where, where's that radio at? I heard it like announcer. You keep yourself out of trouble. But it said the word Promethea. It says, well, at least you're not on Pr Promethea or something like that. Maybe it was like a loudspeaker or something. But yeah, it, it dropped a, the name bomb from that Easter egg. That's the same announcer, I do believe, but it's not the same message. But I think it dropped the name. For the uh, the, uh, the planet in Borderlands 3 that you go to, that they announced in the uh, in that little Easter egg from the Battleborn, it was the same name, if I remember correctly, that Promethea. So it was announced in Borderlands 1, even though I think that's old. It was just uh, something the announcer said. Maybe that's the name they were using for the the new map. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite, right? Aw oh, man, there's another one. Hey, I can't I can't raise the gun that high. Man, it still caught him. Never mind. <laughs> this place is tough. I'd like to just get to Moxie. Maybe we should just drive on by and try to just speed through. Boom. Nope, leave me alone. Leave, leave me alone. I said, leave me alone, dude. dude this guy's doing a lot of damage. Dude, dude, it's just... How are you supposed to get through this road? Yeah, I ain't killing that thing. No. Aha, wow. Saved. This is so tough, but these guys just take you out in a few hits. What is going on? No. Alright, sniper. Can I shoot through this little, little hole here? No. That would just be too easy, wouldn't it? I'm gonna have to take this road slow. Cause they're... These guys are not joking around, are they? 
my health Rounding is destroyed. Up. So next time I get knocked down, I'm not going to be surviving very easily. Let's go. Run for it. There's a chest on top of that bus. Did you see that? I don't have time to go after that. This road is scary. Whoops. Man, I'm sorry about that, dude. Or am I? <laughs> Never. You're supposed to be helping me out, man. Ah, uh, Moxie's Underdome. Atlas would like to inform you that during this difficult transition to death. I don't know if I should do the arena on here. Should I do that the, the arena? Just to show it off? Well, it's up to the community. You know, it's up to you guys. You know, you could, you could tell me on uh, my Facebook page. You could tell me on the comments below. You could tell me on uh, uh, Twitter. I got Twitter now where there's a link in my channel. There's all kinds of stuff, guys. So let me know if you want to see the Moxie's Underdome before I move to the second game. Even though that's, uh, the reason why I want to leave it out is because it might not be the best videos for you guys you know it's just an arena where you just kill waves of enemies which in my opinion might be boring to you guys I just a quick note about Moxie in the event you ain't met her she got a peculiar streak in her loves the limelight but she ain't as sketchy as she appears to be on stage uh, I almost forgot she's my mom so you treat her right or I'll bury you where I buried Lucky yeah, I killed him. Don't act all surprised. I told you I was going to do it. <laughs> I like Scooter. Oh, Scooter. The weird one. If anybody played the second game, we'll recognize these mines. And uh, a character that everybody likes. Which you'll see in the second game. not going to drop the name because if you haven't played Borderlands 2 and you're waiting to see Borderlands 2 on my channel then you'll see it. It's everybody's favorite character. So I wonder what character should I play? I think about playing my favorite. I always like the Necromancer. Only because I don't play with other people and because I don't play with other people having a robot following me around that helps me kill the stuff is like having a second player. Yeah, I don't, I have never played, well, I can't say I haven't never played multiplayer on computer. I played a little bit of CSGO, which I absolutely suck at. And I played a little bit of a uh, Team Fortress 2. Cheetah Paw. Hey, man, you rolled me over. You see this? What is going on, man? Good job, man. Good job. You're amazing. Just die. Leave my car out of here, man. <laughs> um. I don't have an option to go away. Dang it. I, I can't move it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love these rockets. They're, they're really cool. They really home in on the enemy. That's what I like. I love that thing, man. Alright, what's that say up there? Dome? Ah, uh, Moxie's under dome. Wow, Skags. Ooh, it's an alpha too. I hated these at the beginning of the game. Remember the yeah, guys? These guys were tough at the beginning. The enemy that gave me the most trouble is Alpha Skags. Not the BAs, they're not that bad, not unless it's an Alpha Skag version of a BA. Thank you. Yeah, and if you're new to my channel, I say BA because I try not to cuss on my channel or say bad things. Or say curse words or who, however you say it. I do uh, once in a while get a little bit upset in a game 
and you guys see it on my camera, especially when I play like Terraria. Love that game, but towards the end there, it's not the Moon Lord fight, it's the uh, towers that just make me upset. And, uh, so I, I do let a curse word, curse word slip, but I edit it out. I'll try not to. I might go ahead and curse on, uh, like, live streams whenever I get to that point. But I'm waiting for more people to subscribe and whatnot. Alright, let's head for Moxie's. Where is she at? I don't know this map that well, guys, so be patient with me. This is the least played DLC for me out of all three of them. Is this where she's at? No, this is Crimson Lance piece. Moxie, where are you? Oh, yeah, it's over there. She's got to be over there somewhere. It's got a big old sign that says Dome on it. Can't really see what that top one says. Hey, you. Die. I don't mean anything harsh about that. Just, just die. Goodness, look at all those apple skags. I don't think this is Moxie's though. This don't look like Moxie. It looks like Bandit Camp of Doom. Now, is this it? Get out of here, asshole! Get out of here, you a-hole! Moxie, where are you? I don't know where I'm going. I'm like that the, those people that don't have a map but driving across the country. Stopping every two minutes asking for directions. Actually, they don't ask for directions. They just kind of keep driving and get lost. Well, they just don't know how to read a map. Go down. Alright, I have no idea where I'm going here, guys. Me lost. Do I go back onto the ramp? And then go up again on the road? But it looked like it went to a dead end, like right here. But maybe I can jump that dead end. So let's go try that. Crimson tollway. Maybe there's a ramp. It don't look like a ramp. Looks like a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. Oh, it is up here. I have to jump across. Yep, I do believe I gotta jump across. I have to be on foot. No, I'm scared, guys. Being on foot is scary. <gasps> Nah, D. Nope. That failed. Why is that ramp right there? Oh, it goes out there. Okay, I guess. Well, good thing I left my car up there, right? Warp. Am I doing something wrong here? How do I get across? Seems like it's a bit far to to get. Yeah, it is. It's a bit too far. Hmm. So, oh, do I jump down there? Oh, I see. Okay, I might have to jump down there and go around. Okay. I see. They don't want you to go the easy way. They want you to go the hard way. The hard way. Right. Teleport. Let's get you. Kind of cut him off there. Let's get you rolling. Let's get you rolling. I'm trying to sound like uh, Scooter, but I don't think eBay can sound like Scooter. Actually, I, I take that back. I think I heard somebody in my lifetime that I knew in person that kind of sounded like that. And leap. Yahoo! Turn off boost. Use the boost to get boost. I've always been saying that since 
Star uh, Star Fox 64. I've always said that used to boost to get through. I don't know why. It sounds so dumb. This is where I was earlier. Okay, so that's complete dead end. Is that a way up right here? Or do I have to go through here? Yes, there it is. I see the on ramp. Right here. I was just in here, guys, a little bit ago. And I just drove out like, Ooh. I'm, I'm a lost tourist here. Uh, I'm a tourist, but I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. There we go. We made it. Now we just got to get through the onslaught of bandits and things. And... Hey, you. Ooh. That looked like it's staying a little bit. Exactly, Roland. Exactly. Couldn't say it better myself. Nineteen, two of them here. That was forty thousand. That was only nineteen. You guys know the rule. I try not to pick up things that is under a certain limit. And I pick twenty to twenty-five thousand. So if it's out there, because you have limited inventory space, so you have to be careful. I heard a door or something close. Whoa, what was that? Ah, Crimson Lance Deeds. <laughs> you guys look scary, but you're not. You're just not. Dang it. I need these because of. Oh. What's his name? Hey, you. Yeah, shields down. Well, these guys are on you like, like poop on a blanket. Why can't I have this sword? This looks neat. Kick some butt with that sword. I keep holding down E to pick up all the money and stuff, but nope. Game's like, no, you're only allowed to pick up one at a time. There's Moxies. No. We made it. Gonna jump on this rocket. Alright. I know this is probably an easier way to get over here. There's a bridge right there. We're not gonna just jump up from down there. Ah, oh, that was worthless. That's my luck for you right there. White guns. Moxie, hello. Anybody home? Mr. Shank, is that you? If it's you, I already told you your money is no good. Oh, it's you. You won't need your money here. Tiger Grove. Wow. She just. Well, okay. I saw a box. What to open box? Oh, Moxie. Been around what forever. Can I do you for? Well, I'm not that kind of girl. Excuse the mess, but a good kidnapping is never clean. Shank busted in and took Miss Athena for a little ride. You should have seen the fight she put up. That kitty has claws. Athena's in the, uh, the sequel. Mr. Shank, Shank is after the chunk of change that Atlas has put on Athena's pretty little face. If you want him, you'll need to do some fancy driving. Luckily, I'm just the person to help with that. Are you ready to rescue the princess? I think you can handle it. Head out to the prison. You're looking for an outcrop near the base of the plateau with a ramp nearby. My ex don't look that way. You're not even I'll talking. be in touch when you get close. Hey, you see her hat right when I looked at her, her hat was like moving around on her head. It looked weird. So I just talk to you. Okay, here we go. Thirteen thousand experience. Wow. Prison break. Road warrior. What do you mean? Mel Gibson. Okay. As in Mad Max, maybe. Take it easy. If you if you guys know that this game takes some you know inspiration from Mad Max. Alright. Well, 
not much in here to look at. Or is there? What's that in this door? Nope, can't go in there. Okay, so the same thing over and over again. They don't look like the Underdome. That place is a lot bigger than that. Hey there! Mama said you'll be needing the racer for one of your uh, adventures. I've uploaded the Digistruck to the Catch a Ride system. You should be able to grab one whenever you want. Hey, I'd be careful though. Compared to the monster, that thing might as well be a box of gravy with wheels. <laughs> box of gravy with wheels. Are you saying it's a lot weaker than the car I had, which is not that strong? Where did all these bandits come from? Well, another broken road. Story of my life. Let's get back to our car. Let's go back to this because dead, non dead, dead, on fire. <laughs> oh, my face! No, not the face. Oh, uh, face McShooty guy in the second game. I'm not gonna spoil too much, but there's face McShooty guy. My car just picked, so I went indoors. Racer. Weak. Weak as water. Racer is a little something I had my Scootykins whip up for me. Got the extra junk in her trunk you'll need to storm the castle. Storm the castle. So you're saying I need to ramp into that place? Where is it, though? <clears throat> the problem is, where is it? Don't shoot at me, guys. They shoot at those guys. They're all yours. All yours. This is <coughs> looks just like the runners, normal runners. Nice. So where am I going? On to the crimson tollway again. Okay. Yep, I'm heading back. <laughs> Boost. Do a barrel roll. I just went right through that. <clears throat> no collision box on there. Who needs collision boxes? No, these guys are. They'll destroy this vehicle. Do I go this way? It looks like I do, but I don't. Run! I just don't want to deal with these guys because they kick the big monsters. But, what's they call the other vehicle's monster? That thing dies like very easily. Just think of this thing. With less armor? Oh yeah. Come on, boost. You would think because of this it should uh, have the, the boost should come back faster. I have no idea where I'm going, guys. I'm trying to follow the little diamond there. On the compass. Woo. It's going so fast, I almost flipped the vehicle. Bridgeway. So I gotta go that way. Nope. Don't shoot me, bro. Don't taste me, bro. Need a little bit of boost. A little bit of boost. Come on. Bridge in. Bridge in. Still does good damage, though. I think I gotta jump here. Woohoo. Okay. Jumpy, jumpy time. T Bone Junction. Wasn't I already here before? Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. I was here. What? Where is this thing taking me? The other road behind it, where I was driving around randomly. Just think about the cost of building something like this. It's this high up off the ground. Let's build a town. Let's build it on top of huge stilts or columns. That every step is a danger to falling off. Yep, going this way. I don't, I can't. I don't even know how big this uh, DLC is. It reminds you, I gotta start working the artwork for the deal uh, for Borderlands 2. Not unless you guys want to see the, the Underdome. Like I said before, previously, make sure to comment down below. Now, why am I risking my neck for you? First off, I think you're cute. Second, Atlas Occupation of Pandora has put a real pinch on my business. When you guys started riling things up on this rock, more people came through my joint in a night than booze went through my second husband's liver. Now, the Lance control of the highway is shutting me down in a hurry. That's where you and your chica come in. Did you see that? I was shaking the booty. <laughs> Alright, gotta run through here again. Speed needed. Ow. There we go. Whoa. Just, <laughs> what was that? Vehicle's like, nope, about to flip. Can't handle the speed. Oh man, I gotta go through this base too. Yep, just locked down. Locked down. No, I didn't want that. One out. One out. Ah. Oh, flame guy. Flame guy. Yeah, burn. Come on. See, he's a BA. And I call them BAs, so if you're wondering what that meant, give me this. Is this garbage? Mm mm, garbage. I saw another. No, it was a vehicle. Alright, gotta take down this bridge. Alright, this volcano's doing work here pretty well. It's doing good. I heard you shooting at me. Oh, he's a pyro. Yep, Balkans do good until I meet somebody that literally has fire and they has a name. Oh, chest. First test chest of the bit no never mind. Ooh, orange. It looks like it might be another volcano. What was that? Something shot me. Alright, I'm thinking it's a volcano, guys. Is it? No, it's a Cyclops. Okay, I haven't found this one before. I have you in my eyes, sir. Sounds gross. So you're saying you're that little squiggly thing that's in your eyes sometimes? <laughs> so, the Cyclops sniper rifle is that squiggly line in your eye that you see in the corner of your eyes once in a while. Mystery solved. <laughs> that sounds so bad. If you all know what I'm talking about. That squiggly line sometimes you see, it's weird. It's like a piece of dust or something that's just floating about. You're like, what is that? Every time I turn to look towards it, it just moves to the side more. I can never see it. Just barely. Like a mystery. The ultimate mystery. Man, that oh. Pyro again. Well, might be using the Cyclops. No ring shields! I have a shotgun or two. There you go. You set that pack on his back on fire and just watch, wait and watch the fireworks. Alright, let's go check out that Cyclops. 96 really slow fire rate though. In the case of minus 1% recoil reduction, 23 damage, minus 3 magazine size. Wow. This thing has more minuses than. I don't even know. Hmm. Yeah, let's give it a try. 
Which we could say we did find another legendary in this episode. But so far it doesn't sound very good. Okay. A little too close, but hey. Why do I even look at the greens? They're always junk. Not all the time, but you know, hey. Alright, we gotta drop the deal or the horse field. Down there. Yum yum. Wow, the white the white one is worth more than the green one, which has a step up in rarity. Alright, let's move on here. Oh jeez. Ah jeez. Ah ah jeez. Haha! Yeah. <laughs> See that jump shot? But for some reason in Warframe, I've been playing that a lot lately. In my own time. Think about putting it on my channel, but. Oh jeez. That's like about putting Warframe on my channel, but I have to start a new character. I don't want to have something I've already been working on for a little while. I suck at that game now, but it's really fun. Right now I'm stuck at the, uh, what is it called? Ceres, Ceres Junction to Jupiter. And uh, there's, uh, there's these uh, relays that you gotta go to to open up, but you gotta fight a boss, which is pretty much like another Warframe. And that new Warframe is kicking my butt. Okay, it's like, takes me down, it's level 25. And yeah, that thing is not easy. So I gotta, I, and the game refuses to give me a serration mod, which is a damage upgrade mod for rifles. It, it's, I got a serration mod, so don't get me wrong, I do have one, but it's only a three star or three pip, which is the the pips are what you use to upgrade the uh, the damage. And there's a 10 pip one, which I want, but the game refuses to give me the 10 pip one. Uh, I still got a 3 for a rifle. And it, it just won't change. It will not, if a game refuses to give me a 10 pip. On the PS4 version and the Switch version, I have the 10 pip. And the pip is those little dots at the bottom of the card. And each dot represent another upgrade point. Six four thousand. I don't know about the Cyclops. It doesn't even look special. If you look at the gun itself, it just looks like a normal old gun. Some like junky. So what is special about this gun? I'm confused. That volcano was doing work though. But I keep meeting enemies over here that's fire resistant or complete fire re immune. So that's why I switched over. Do I risk some shield drop? Yeah. Yes. See. A tiny, tiny bit of shield drop. In the other games, too, and pre sequel, they got rid of the uh, fall damage. In this game, there's fall damage, but it's pretty minor, not unless you fall really far distance. I remember when I played this last, it's been a long time, but last time I did play this, I was having a lot of trouble here. This place was like way too tough, and I was getting my butt kicked constantly. Maybe I just was under leveled. Oh, gee. Oh, oh man. Oh, jeez. No, I don't want boost. Do your part by dying quickly. No, man, I don't want to die quickly. Ooh. Yeah, I had a fan that was been t uh, commenting, asking to play a game with me. I was like, yeah, I don't. It's like I. Said we could on Sunday when I was on my computer all day. Yeah, I didn't see him. But who wants to play a game with me? I suck. 
I got evidence all over the, all over YouTube how much I suck at video games. Do I have to get a new car? No, that's a ramp. Okay, yeah. Good. Just leaving junk all over the roads. That's what I do. Wow, it's twerking a little bit. Oh, that's why, because it got stuck. No! Can I smack it up? <laughs> well, it's not letting me even do anything. Well, we're on foot, guys. Until we find another vehicle spawn. Dang it. Secrets? Oh, that don't look like a... You know, a solid surface. Looks like it just go right through you. You could tell because if you look at the surface, some of it's like a little bit more blurry than the like this surface. When it's slightly blurry, it looks kind of out of focus. Yeah, I think that's. Just... Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. No, I'm not. You know I'm not. Marcus. Wonder if they're gonna bring back all this, some of these characters to the new Borderlands, the third game. Like Moxie, Scooter. Uh, any of the old Bolt Hunters from 1 and 2. Maybe even 3, uh, the uh, pre-sequel. What about Ellie? No spoilers, but there's a person named Ellie. Oh, this place looks big. Oops, so big. Alright, let's go back to a volcano because it was kicking butt. And of course, the first enemy I meet is a pyro. Why not? Why not? It's like those, uh, those pyro man what is it, those guys I haven't seen them in a little while the psychos uh, the flaming psychos gotta be careful of barrels when you got picking up those little pods barrels can blow up on you and if you haven't played Borderlands 1 or 2 or a pre-sequel and you like first person shooters slash RPGs loot games like uh, Diablo and whatnot, uh, Destiny. I do recommend playing these games. They are a lot of fun. Dang, Pyro again? What is up with the Pyro? Because I, I have this equipped it, that's why? Oh, I see you have Volcano there equipped it. Well, I'm wanting to spawn nothing but flame resistant enemies. That's the game logic for you. How many of those I got? 31 of 100? Wow. Wow. I'm trying to sound like that one guy. For some reason, I can't remember his name. Voices the uh, Lightning McQueen in cars. Playing all kinds of movies. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He says, Wow, a lot. Wow. Twenty thousand. Eh, it's a twenty thousand, I'll pick it up. In this game there's not very many timed missions. Nice segue, right? But in then um in this this game there's not a lot of timed missions, something just absolutely hate I hate time missions but uh, in the second game there's a lot of them. <clears throat> now I wouldn't say a lot it's not like half of them or something, but there's some of them in there. there's a couple I can do because I've done them before the others are just suck at it. are you like shocking yourself 
Nice pack there, bro. You kind of left it behind when you just faded. Uh oh. Do you see that? The fade? The fade, uh, the enemy's fading kind of reminds me of a movie that kind of recently came out. And that movie is something to do with Marvel. How? Told you about barrels. Proof. <laughs> Should have kept the yellow one because that gives me a speed boost. Each one does something different. Blue, red, and yellow. I think that's the three colors you get. The pods. Um, just. Well, well, where do I go? Oh, I go down. Right here. Yep. Yeah, ha, ha. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Pod, no. See how the item just went right through that road? You can tell. See how it's like outlined? It looks kind of weird. A little bit different. But not too much, so than what you're standing on. Yeah, these kind of surfaces allow you just you just fall right through them, like they don't even exist. You guys gonna try that again? Oh, we got a BA one with a rocket launcher, no less. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, it's just a white, anyways. I'm already at 40 minutes. Well, you know why I'm at 40 minutes? It's because I got lost trying to find a way to Moxie's earlier. Sounds like me, don't it? Fits me like, you know, to a T. Getting lost, stuff like that. I kind of want to go to another area and then end the video because I don't want to come all the way back over here. Actually, I, I want a Nirma, it don't even matter. In any DLC, no matter if you go through a new travel zone, you always seem to end up back at T-Bone Junction because in DLCs, you always start back where you start at the very beginning. Over and over, so it doesn't even matter. Well, I'm just picking those things up by the dozen. Just not enough, so I got 38 of 100 for Marcus It's gonna take forever But they did that on purpose I guess because you pick these things up all the way through this while you're playing it so All right, we're gonna probably head this way I'm Running out of time in my video here Oh pyro I might as well the pyro guys in uh, Borderlands 2. But they're big dudes. Oh, yellow one. Speed boost! Yeah. Oh, more yellow ones. P containers. Whoa, what is that? It's, it's scary, man. Uh, not really. He's getting knocked down by my basher. You know how if I end the episode right here or a little bit up here, you know that when I make my new episode, I will be starting exactly where I left off. Nailed it. before. Except for yeah, this episode, I started back in that town because I wanted to tell you about that radio announcer saying something about Prometheus or Promethea or whatever. Which is, I think, is the name they gave to the. Uh, Starting planet or the planet in Borderlands 3. It says, Welcome to Promethea. Tannis is not who you think she is, and something else. Tannis, I always knew there was something wrong with Tannis. If you guys played Borderlands 1 and 2 and you, you know this game very well, <coughs> everybody knows that Tannis is just weird. Ow up with the screen blur. 
Every time he shot me, it was like 1950s TV. 1950s TV. <laughs> All black and white. That 12 inch screen. Woo! High definition. Just think about how technology progressed throughout the years. A TV that weighs like 500 pounds, covered in wood. Oh, that's a pyro. Dang, I didn't even notice. But like a TV that weighs like 500 pounds and then the screen's like 6 inches. Maybe even 10 inches if you had the money to afford it. And it was like always black and white and you barely could see it. And now you can have like high definition videos on this tiny little phone. You know, that's like... What is it? Six inch screen or even more? Think about a tiny little phone that could just play HD videos. It's mind boggling how fast the uh, technology has advanced throughout the years. Alright, guys. Well, I made it through here. I think I'm going to end the episode here because it's getting really high up on time there. Alright. Well, I'm going to end it here. And uh, when I come back uh, next episode, we'll be starting right here where I left off. I don't want to have to go through all that again for you guys, you know, on camera. You already seen it. I'll start here. Alright, guys, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. And any new subscribers that have showed up, I thank you right now and in advance if you are a new subscriber. And uh, if, uh, if you like my commentary, find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show your support. I appreciate everybody's you know help on that. It helps me out greatly. You don't you have no idea. And don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. I'll I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.